hey, 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 all right, everybody. Now, I was looking at a story on my tablet right by there, and uh, I thought, I better make a video before the information leaves my brain. So I've quickly looked over the story, and it's all about, it says, the Porsche CFO of Europe may delay its ice ban. Um, now, what he's talking about is 2035 in the EU, or 2035 in the UK. Um, now, in the UK, uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But is a ZEV mandate uh, leading up to 20, 2035. At the moment, it's 22% every year. 22% uh, of all... 22% of cars must be electric, zero emissions this year. And that goes up and up and up and up until 2035, where all cars have got, got to be zero emissions at the tailpipe. Um... So that basically means all cars by 2035 in the EU and at UK have got to be zero emissions at the tailpipe. So electric cars, obviously. Uh, some people are still touting hydrogen. I doubt that's going to happen, but that's still part of the plan as well. Now, what Porsche is talking about is um, they, he's talking about. Now, let me get let me get his name right because I'll probably get it wrong. You can laugh at me. His name is Lutz. Mesh, Meshki, let's Meshki. I've put it up on the screen just in case because <laughs> I've probably said it wrong. Now he's talking about, let me just have a quick look by here. Uh, he's talking about the 2035 uh, ban on ice cars, basically. Uh, but I don't know if you know about Porsche, but they, uh, they've got a, a plant somewhere or a factory somewhere and they're trying to develop, or they have developed, uh, e-fuels or synthetic fuel um, now the EU was going to do their ban everything was hunky-dory everything was going along ticker a boo and then Germany stuck their boot in and I think it was another I think it was Poland and another, another few com uh, companies con countries I, I, I was going to say companies instead of countries <laughs> uh, were lobbying against the 2035 ban on zero emission fuels uh, zero emissions at the tailpipe um and i think they sort of the eu have softened their 2035 ban to allow synthetic fuel to be part of the uh makeup of tail no tailpipe emissions doesn't make much sense does it and i also think they shoehorned in hydrogen combustion i think that's trying to be shoehorned in as well part of the deal Part of the German, Germany, uh, the, the coalition government in Germany were all against it. Wah, wah, wah. We should allow for uh, synthetic fuels and combustion. It might have been hydrogen combustion was sort of snuck in the door as well. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because the Porsche, Porsche, uh, Porsche CFO is a the chief financial officer. Let's mesk. I'll put it by there again, just in case I'm saying it wrong. Or meski. <laughs> um, he wants to sort of carry on with the old sort of ways of things. He wants to carry on with the old combustion engine. And he's saying that there's going to be a delay in chucking the ice vehicles in the stingies. Um, now, I think there's a good chance... That might happen because governments flip and flop all the time. Um, like in the UK, for instance, we're doing an election right now. The, the, the Conservatives could flip flop again. They're going to try, the Conservative Party are going to try anything and everything to try and get voters back on their side. So they could flip flop on, on, on the, the mandates they've made already. It could happen any time. Um, the trouble with flip flopping is car manufacturers. I've already ploughed money into going down one route, and if a government flip flops, then that can end up costing car manufacturers loads and loads of money. Um, so car manufacturers like the governments to just if if they make these mandates, stick to them. Don't go flip flopping left, right, and centre. But Porsche, for some reason, well, it says a Porsche CFO for some reason is he wants to. It's not for some reason. <laughs> it's because Porsche has got a factory that makes synthetic fuels. They've invested money in synthetic fuels. So it's the case again, it's the Toyota syndrome, isn't it? Um, where Toyota, they're trying to, it's, 
they're trying to they Toyota's put money into certain things, Porsche's put money into certain things. So they're trying to protect the investment. So they try and push this narrative that that this is the way we should go. It's it's all to, it's all to do with businesses making money. It's nothing to do with you've got to remember, right, that Toyota or Porsche or any car company are not there for you. They're not there for, to make the world a better place. <laughs> Some of them in the company might be, but the, the end goal is profits. Because a company can't keep going. If, if they keep losing money, that's the end of the company eventually, isn't it? Um, so if they've invested loads of money in certain things, like Toyota's invested in hydrogen, loads and loads of money, they still want to push it. They still want to push it because, you know, the, all the efforts of their work might pay off in the end. Who knows, isn't it? Um, now, a lot of people will say hydrogen, is a, even fuel cells, is a load of rubbish. A lot of people will say that, and they've got, they've, you know, looked into it, looked at the data, and it doesn't, if you look at the data, it doesn't make much sense compared to battery electric vehicles. And this is exactly the same thing for uh, synthetic fuels and hydro, well, Let's not talk about hydrogen combustion because that is just idiotic, isn't it? Um, so let's 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 grab hydrogen combustion. Let's grab that there and chuck this in a trash can, right? Let's get rid of. Let's just get rid of hydrogen combustion. Um, if JCB wants to run the big lumpy things on hydrogen combustion, let them do it. But let's for, for passenger cars. Let's just grab it, chuck it in the stingies, get rid of hydrogen combustion, because it's just stupid. It's stupid! <laughs> now, some people might argue that uh, I shouldn't say it's stupid, because in certain countries, it might make sense. I don't think it makes sense anyway, because it's just... It doesn't... Look at the data and, and how inefficient it is. I'm trying to store the... It's just, just stupid. It's stupid. Anyway, let's, let's not talk about hydrogen combustion in this video, let's talk more about the synthetic fuels. So synthetic fuels is going down the same path as, if you look at the data, um, they're trying to say, you know, it's it'll be greener, but it's not really because you're still, you're still giving out exhaust fumes at the tailpipe. There's not, it's not like, it's not like you're breathing fresh air. It's not like, ooh, that's nice. It's not that kind of fuel, is it? Um, Cause you're still burning stuff in a combustion engine. If you burn stuff in a combustion engine, even if it's hydrogen combustion, there's still going to be tailpipe emissions. They might be less, but they'll still be there. So Porsche is just trying to cover their uh, bottoms. Again, isn't they? they've invested in synthetic fuels, so they want to go down that route. Um, and I suppose it's they get most of their profit from combustion engine cars. Because there's so many parts, there's so many things to go wrong. And it's so many I'm servicing and blah, blah, blah. So they get a lot of money back from that sort of stuff. So they just want to protect themselves. So whenever you see these articles, and I, I, I got to say the Auntie Eve, Auntie Eve, oh, see, my, my mouth won't even let me say it. Auntie EV people who keep saying, Toyota know what they're talking about. They, they, they know this, that and the other. They're doing it for the good of the people. No, no, no. They're doing it for their own business, okay? <laughs> and this is exactly the same thing. Um, now, somebody in the comment section will probably tell me, I'd like to hear um, this, the, the data on synthetic fuels. I know that it's going to be incredibly expensive. Um, I know that much. I, I know that there's not a lot of it being made at the moment. And if, when it comes to 2035, there won't be enough for all cars. I think I've read that. It's going to be, I've read maybe twice the price of what fuel is now. Maybe more, I'm not quite sure. And it'll be, and it will be quite hard to scale up to, to mass production for all cars. So that could be a long time away in the future if uh, synthetic fuels did succeed. But uh, I'm not quite sure on the, um, how good it is efficiency wise making it blah 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 because they they're trying to say they're making it in a green way somebody in the comment section can tell me exactly what's going on um because i've only read this article here about porsche uh and uh it's um i don't know what do you think do you think 
that the I know I've waffled on. I haven't I haven't given you any good information in this video. I just wanted to talk about synthetic fuels um, because they're always <laughs> with with the push towards going fully electric. There's all these companies trying different ways to scrabble to keep the combustion engine going. They just want to keep the combustion engine going. I don't know if they why don't they invest the money all in electric and then make cheaper electric cars? Be better, wouldn't it? Um, so what do you think? Do you think that the 2035, as it stands now, will we make it to 2035 untouched, unscathed, or will it get pushed a little bit further? Because the way governments are nowadays, I think it could be pushed a little, you know, they could kick the can a little bit further down the, down the road. I, I do personally think myself that it could change. Um, I think it all depends on how well electric cars do sell in the next couple of years. If things don't go in the, in the S curve as expected to, to, and is a little bit slower, then the car might be get kicked a little bit further. It might go to 2040. I'm not quite sure. Th things can change. Um, if the S curve ramps up, then it's always game over for ice cars. It's game over uh, because it won't make much sense at all. So there's my waffle. <laughs> Uh, if you've liked this video, even a little bit, if you liked it just a teeny weeny incy wincy bit, go on, subscribe. I know you want to, go on, you be there. Go on, press the subscribe button and it'll help me. It'll help me immensely. Um, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoo-hoy! -ho